Hi guys, I want to talk about why you should never trust a narcissist. You see, narcissists are like kids, an adult body. So what they do basically is, you know, like a child that um, wants a new toy. You know, the child will always cry, um, oh, I want this toy, I want this toy, you know. And then when you give the child that toy, after playing with it for a while, They'll get bored of it, they'll get sick of it, they'll get tired of it, and they don't want no, anything to do with the toy. So that's what narcissists are basically. You know, when you see a narcissist, like for example, when you meet them, they'll be telling you all these sub stories of how, how their ex was horrible, you know, how a lot of things, you know. That's to for you to come in as the savior, you know, the you know, they need someone to save them, you know. They'll tell you all the story, like, obsessively, like in a way where you've met someone now and maybe for the past, all the time you've known them, that's the only thing they talk about. Like, they always talk about how people have done them wrong or how people have um, um, mistreated them, you know. There are true situations where people have actually done people wrong, that they are not narcissists and they're t telling you. But the one that obsessively talk about it, like, like for example, it's like the, you notice that your relationship with them is not moving forward. It's just all about an ex. That as if the ex is like um, someone who's um, part of your relationship. You understand? So that's how it is with these narcissistic people. So they'll come to you and they'll tell you all sort of, oh, maybe they want a family or they want... Um, um, a relationship and things whereas it's all false they only like the idea of it but by the time you start giving them attention start giving them your sympathy start showing them like oh you care you you know you're listening understanding they'll turn on you then when they're bored with you and they're gonna tell you things like um, you know like uh, maybe um, I don't even know how to explain it I'm trying to think of the perfect way to explain it like then they get bored of you after you've given them your sympathy and everything, then they'll start picking on your flaws. You know, not really your flaws, but flaws they perceive of you. Then once they bored with you, you find out that this same person that was telling you all these sub stories, you know, that was acting like so vulnerable a few minutes ago, that they actually not, they actually not at all. So narcissists are like that, you know. So when you meet a narcissist and they tell you all this. Oh, what they want, they want a relationship, they want family, they want this, blah, 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 you know. Watch their actions. It's their actions that you can use to determine, you know. Don't just fall for people by what they tell you. For example, they tell you, oh, I want a family. Then you actually believe them, they actually want a family. No, 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 that doesn't work, you know. If someone tell you, I want a family, watch their action. Look at this person, like, physically and uh, try to assess them, like, their behavior. Do they really behave like someone that wants a family or they're just saying it because that's what everybody's saying or that's what everyone is doing at that point in time so when you get around these narcissistic people you know because most of them they actually do things because because other people are doing it you know most narcissists actually want to get married because other people are married or they just want to show off to their friends like oh i got engaged or I got proposed to by so so and so you know so they're not doing it for love because everything they do is like it's a transaction you know that's how their um, relationships are so they are not really connecting with people they are not really getting to know you for who you are they are not really connecting with you because they have this deep feeling and this sense of bond to you you know you're this you're like something that's disposable like the moment you stop like appealing to their needs or you you stop giving them that supply that's the end yeah or the moment they perceive that you they are unable to influence you that's the end of it all you know so i just thought i put this video out there never trust the narcissists because of what they say you know always watch their actions it's their actions that prove if the narcissist you know is real or not you will know that this narcissist is not real you know that this person is a little bit off, though they say they want, they say all these good, great things, you know. But you notice that this person, there's something about this person that's not adding up. If you observe their behavior, 
you know so that's it i just thought i put this out there you know like share subscribe have a great and blessed week and stay safe from this coronavirus you know always um ensure that your personal hygiene is on the top level so you could pre prevent yourself from catching this um, dreaded virus thank you guys have a lovely day bye